Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about saturated and unsaturated solutions. This will be the first quarter topic and learning competency number 8. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. The objectives by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to first is to differentiate saturated from unsaturated solutions. The second one is to conduct experiments to determine the solubility of different substances in water and identify if a solution is saturated and unsaturated. And the third one is to compare and contrast the saturated and unsaturated solution by conducting a Venn diagram. In activating the prior knowledge, the learners will identify if the given materials are homogeneous or heterogeneous mixtures, so they also must give reasons for their answer. Establishing purpose of the lesson, for the lesson purpose, the students will explain that they will be learning about the differences between the saturated and unsaturated solutions and how to identify the types of solution based on its characteristics. And also to emphasize the importance of understanding the solution concentration and the solubility in various scientific and everyday application and also to inform students that they will be have the opportunity to conduct experiments and make observations to deepen their understanding of these concepts. And for unlocking content vocabulary, so the learners will arrange the numbers in descending order to reveal the In developing and deepening of understanding, so first we need to define what is solubility. Solubility is the ability of a substance or solute to dissolve in a solvent, forming a homogeneous solution. The solubility of a substance depends on the physical and chemical properties of both the solute and the solvent. The following are the factors that affect the solubility. The first one is the temperature. So increasing the temperature generally increases the solubility of a substance. So higher temperatures, it provides more energy to overcome the intermolecular forces between the solute and solvent and allowing more solute to dissolve. 
Another factors that affect the solubility is the particle size. So smaller particle size of a solute increases the surface area, allowing for faster dissolution. Finely powdered or crushed solutes tend to have a higher solubility compared to larger and coarser particles. So what is a saturated solution? So a saturated solution is a solution in which the maximum amount of a solute has been dissolved in the solvent at the given temperature. No more solute can be dissolved in a saturated solution and any additional solute will simply sink to the bottom of the container. Whereas unsaturated solution, it is a solution in which the concentration of the solute is less than the maximum amount that can be dissolved in the solvent at a given temperature. So unsaturated solutions can still dissolve more solute until they become saturated. What is saturated point? So the saturated point is the point at which the solution becomes saturated, meaning no more solute can be dissolved in the solvent at that temperature. So what is solubility limit? At the saturated point, the solution has reached its solubility limit and any additional solute added will not dissolve but will instead sink to the bottom of the container. The following are the differences between the saturated and unsaturated solutions. The first one is the concentration. So saturated solutions have the maximum concentration of solute, while the unsaturated solutions have a lower concentration. The second one is the ability to dissolve more solute. So saturated solutions cannot dissolve any more solute while the unsaturated solutions can still dissolve additional solute. And the last one is the appearance. So saturated solutions may have undissolved solute particles at the bottom while the unsaturated solutions are clear with no undissolved solute. For the work example, so the learners will determine if the given solutions are saturated or unsaturated.